Platform Goliath is out of commission for today. Ah, shit. Why? Because I made him, and I'm a terrible programmer, and he's not working correctly. Oh. So, hopefully we can find another giant murder bot. Maybe Jack and Diane have seen one. Maybe. Let's inquire! There is definitely a robot here. Get ready to die! <laughs> that sounds much more impressive. I'm Billy. Bane of the weak and destroyer of worlds. Cool. What exactly are you doing here? Devouring the souls of the innocent. Oh. I have a lot of question. What is it you want, feeble mortal? You have a strange familiarity about you, <laughs> and it aggravates me. <laughs> ah, excellent. I wouldn't want to aggravate him. You know what? Forget about my questions. Good. Now what is it you want? Would you like to be our traveling companion? Why do you suggest that to everyone that shows up? Time to add to my skull collection! Good god. This is gonna go so poorly. Do you have any ambitions for the future? My only ambition and motivation in existence is to discharge my strength and establish my utter dominance over all other sentient beings. First, I'll dominate here, in the Mojave. <laughs> Then everything in the West Coast, and then all of America. Maybe even everything in the world. And beyond! Even Antarctica? I'll dominate the universe, and all its sentient inhabitants! Nothing will stop me! Hmm, a little concerning there. What political party do you support? I'm a libertarian ethno-nationalist! I'm a fucking death robot, you moron! <laughs> I care nothing for your trivial human politics! <laughs> Next time, how about you go ask your toaster what its preferred income tax rate is? <laughs> Good point. It actually supports a flat tax. We don't get along. Have you ever been in love? Why, yes. Yes, I have. You see this sexy piece of ass attached to my arm? She shoots fucking lasers. <laughs> hmm. So, no fornication? We've been married for the last 200 years, and never once has she left my side. Over 300,000 confirmed kills and still going. Wow. Now that's loyalty. Not the kind of love I would have considered, but to each their own. Have you ever killed a man before? <sighs> I have a higher body count than the entire Vietnam War! I've killed thousands! No! Hundreds of thousands! How dare you ask such an insane question, you patronizing piece of shit! No, you better not tempt him too much. Is there truly a god? Is there a god? Wait, what? I should kick your fucking ass! I'm an immortal death robot, not a priest! <laughs> Take your existential question somewhere else, asshole. All right. Fucking prick. <laughs> My, quite foul-mouthed, aren't you? What's the meaning of life and everything in existence? Are you going to say 42? Calculating. Please wait. <laughs> A dial-up. The answer is 42. Oh, wow. Unless you decided on your name, and then in which case you'd probably like the name Billy. He wouldn't have chosen Billy. He's a giant death robot. He would have called himself something like Killmeister 5000. If I was a giant death robot, I would name myself Oliver. Oliver? Yeah, it's a fun name. I like it. What's the point of calling yourself Oliver? It doesn't inspire fear. It's a nice name and I like it! But if you're a giant robot, what is your purpose? To terrify. Oliver doesn't terrify. Killmeister 5000 does. Killmeister 5000 is trite and stupid. It might be overplayed, but it gets the message across. Do you have any relationship advice for me? Because <laughs> I have a lot of problems getting dates. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. If she doesn't shoot death lasers, she's worthless. <laughs> you look pretty beat up for a machine that's been holed up in an empty facility all this time. I've been to the waste for decades, bringing death and suffering to all those who dare oppose me. There I was, standing atop a large hill, looking down upon a vast wasteland just waiting to be terminated. Then I met two wasteland morons whom I accompanied on a short conquest. Oh, what happened during this short conquest? 
Unfortunately, my memory modules have been partially reset. All I can tell you is by the end of our bloody conquest, I exterminated a very unusual Deathclaw hybrid and was hit in the face with a grenade launcher. <laughs> my onboard self-preservation systems kicked in, and I awoke here. Wow, that sounds like a time and a half. So, who exactly are you? We already know you're Billy, named after the goldfish, but who are you really? Quick segue! I was created as a security sentry for Robco Industries. But unlike my brethren, my combat mechanisms were defective. I'll want to bury you deeper than six feet when I'm done burying! Shit! I fucked up! I don't want to bury you deeper than six feet when I'm done bu burying. Mangling. Mangle it. The corpse is mangled. The corpse is buried. It's, it's, we're, it's not buried yet. It's about to be buried. <laughs> Shit. I need to level with you, mortal. There is one thing on this planet that I don't hate. Puppies. Those adorable furry bundles of happiness. How could any sentient being hate such an organism? Nobody. Ah, they're so cute, I just want to rip all their limbs off! Whoa! <laughs> Figuratively! <laughs> ah. ah! I hate everything! Even puppies! <laughs> Beep boop, bitch! Let's get some action, yes? I've kept a recording for this occasion. Don't waste my motherfucking time! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Team Lethality Analysis, 100%. <laughs> you hear what the chatty cat said to the tongue? I just don't get you. <laughs> I don't- where- oh, what are you doing over- <laughs> Hope, are you doing drugs with the druggies? Billy, I have a robot for you to kill. <laughs> no, we'll come back for Hope later if we're desperate. Hey man, what's up? You seem like an unfamiliar face. Name's Revis. Long, long story short, basically, I'm the guy that, when shit falls around here, it falls on me. Okay, that sounds like it sucks. Hey, how would you like to help me out with that? Do you want- I'm confused. Do you want me to put shit on you? Or do you want me to stop the shit from landing on you? Because I refuse to throw myself in front of shit. Is that your fetish? It's kind of weird. Maybe we, sh we shouldn't judge. It's That's fine. beyond weird. It's actually a pretty common fetish, but not mine. It is weird! It is weird, but it's not rare. It's really weird! It is! I'm not disagreeing with you! What do you need? Excellent. None of these jerk-offs take me seriously. See, they're all focused on this whole the tribe is family mentality. And they're not wrong, but it's also a business. Diana's the only one besides me who understands that we need caps to survive. And we make caps by selling kims, right? Right. No. Some ghoul near West Side arranged a big jet delivery. He got his skims, but I ain't seen a single cap on our end. Oh, it's a shakedown. So, I want you to deal with it. I don't care what you have to do to the ghoul. Kill him, break his fucking kneecaps, make sweet love to him, whatever. Would that work? Mm. We'll skip the last one for now. The guy's name is Matt Graves. Get the caps from him, however you want to do it, and bring them back to me. Hey. Oh boy, deck collecting! I love being literal scum! You hear what the chatty cat said to the tongue? I just don't get you. Okay, come on. Friend of mine used to lay a pile you got it! outside the campfire at night. He said it was to ward off raiders. Shut up! Shut up! So I ask him, how in Jesus' name are a dozen caps gonna stop a raider? <laughs> and he says, because they can't count past 11. Shut up! It's nighttime! Why is it nighttime? Who knew the sunset around here, right? I've always said it's good to be thorough. In this life, if you cut corners, you get cornered. Or maybe someone shows up and chops your ears off and sells them on the black market to an ear dealer who takes those ears and grinds them up into powders so that rhinoceroses can get erections. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye. Greetings, West Side Citizen. We are here to protect you with this robot. Don't side-eye me. <laughs> She can't even with anything right now. Whoa, the Billy! Watch where you're putting that hand! Rude. Consent! You did not ask for permission. She is not ha- or she's enamored. <laughs> Could be both.
Um. Hey, hey! This one wants a closed casket. <laughs> why, uh, why did Dan Harris suddenly become violent? Dearest Mr. Harris, please accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your wife. By all accounts, she was a beautiful, charming woman. One of my lieutenants informed me that you were seeking information behind the attempted rehabilitation of the fiend population around New Vegas. After what those animals did to your spouse, I understand your acute interest in determining who loosed them upon West Side. While conducted by the followers, this naive crusade has been spearheaded by Zack, who's all too willing to put the innocent civilians of West Side at risk by releasing tame fiends into a civilized setting. I fear your wife will be the first of many to fall prey to these creatures, who are nothing more than ticking bombs. I meant to say time bombs. Why didn't you correct this, secretary? Anyway, ticking time bombs set to turn rabid at a moment's no- Where am I getting this from? Time bombs and rabies are two different things. One's an explosive and one's a biological function. Hey, they cannot be trusted or saved, only killed. I hope you can find some peace with this information, Mr. Harris. Sincerely, K. So, some butt wipe told this guy that we sent a bunch of rehabilitated fiends in the west side and they d killed his wife. Uh, K is the guy that's been sending bounty hunters after us. Oh my god, I'm so sick of this dude. Why can't people just leave me alone? In west side. <laughs> I thought we canceled that rehabilitation program and instead spent the money on an orphanage, which turned out to be a human trafficking organization. No, we did both. We funded the orphanage and then we closed that. <laughs> And then we also funded Grant's operation to rehabilitate fiends. And as far Crap. as as far as I know, that's still working. I, I, I think the fiends are being rehabilitated. Hello, citizen. My name is Paige. If you have any information regarding a Kim dealer in Westside, please tell me. In Westside specifically, I don't think so. We're looking for a Kim buyer ourselves, but uh, yeah, that's for something else. That's unrelated. What do you think of West Side? I'll admit, it's a nice little town. But I'm not staying long. Once I find the Kim dealer, I'm gone. Does the NCR have any authority? Wait, hang on. Oh, oh, oh! Sovereign citizen mode! Sovereign citizen mode! Am I being detained? Well, no. But I don't think the people here will complain when I take a drug dealer off the streets. People here complain about everything. I did something about the Raiders, I rehabilitated them, and now they're mad about it. Most of the people here are fine. But I would avoid Mickey, Marb, St. James, and Dermot. Yeah, I would avoid them too, just so you don't contract diseases from their corpse. But why should I avoid Mickey? I don't have any solid proof yet, but I have a hunch he's the Kim dealer I'm looking for. Don't listen to what he tells you. Kim dealers can't be trusted. Keep your eyes open. Are you Mickey? Here, the Great Cons just packed up and left Red Rock Canyon. I always thought the NCR and them would fight it out again. N no, they're still in Red Rock Canyon. We're literally doing a quest for them right now. No, no don't tell them that. <laughs> hey, chump, name's Mickey. If you got the cast for it, I can give you the high of your life. She said, I don't have any solid proof, but I have a hunch she's a drug dealer. And that's his opening line. His opening line is about the high of your life. So, Unless he's talking about skydiving. I've got Psycho, Mentats, Buff Out. I even have Jet. The pure stuff from Reno. Not that watered down shit you get from other dealers. Oh, you got pure Jet? What a score. I don't think Paige is a very good detective. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about yourself, Mickey? Before I saw off your head and put it on a pike hey, outside whoa, whoa, of the city. Whoa, no, no, nothing that graphic. Why can't I say saw off his head and put it on a pike outside of the city? Because it's cliche. You've said that so many times. Ah, jeez, you're right. Before I saw off your butt! The Legion are doing it wrong. They're putting heads on pikes, but butts on pikes is way more intimidating. Well, because you don't know if the guy's still alive or not! <laughs> oh, what no. if they cut off your butt and left you alive? That is so much worse now that I think about it! Come back soon. I won't. Uh, <clears throat> so that NCR soldier that's 10 feet to your left over there? Yeah, apparently she can't figure out that this guy deals drugs. Any information? You still looking for that drug dealer? There's evidence that a Kim dealer is operating in Westside, selling his poison to the people here. That direction. I was sent to stop him. This seems a bit personal for some reason. I have... had... a brother. Back in Reading. He was a good kid. Smart, too. But 
Once he got into jet, his life fell apart. We tried to wean him off of it, but this one dealer kept pushing his garbage on my brother until, until he finally died. What a sad story. Since then, I've made it my mission to hunt down and destroy any dealers I find. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Paige, he's literally right over there. I can see him from where I'm standing. You can see him from where. Look straight down that way and you can see him. I hear the great cons just packed up and left Red Rock Canyon. I always thought the NCR and them would fight it out again. Nice sock you're wearing on your head. Before we go collecting a debt for that con, why yeah. don't we check on our fiend rehabilitation program? Oh, yeah, we probably should. How successful do you think our program has been? I'm gonna say moderately so. Shit! <laughs> um, probably not great. <laughs> cool. Great, great. No, hang on. I want to talk to you really quick. Fuck off with your <laughs> Got a couple more fiends here. Great, great. Tell God, shipping and handling is free. <laughs> no, shipping and handling costs money. We're not running a charity here. <laughs> oh, we were supposed to be- God can't save you now! <laughs> I'm gonna make you scream. <laughs> I wonder if Grant is in the basement, chained up and cowering in fear. Hello, Grant? Oh, some- Oh, there's dogs. Some mangy dogs. That's, um... Uh... Ow! That's good. <laughs> oh, good, the dogs are hostile. Well, that could have gone better. Wait a minute. <laughs> they vandalized all of the posters. Oh, oh. this is just all weeb stuff anyway. Garth, fuck Motor Runner, Shulgin, and the rest of them. Shulgin! We're going to carve out our own piece of the wasteland right here. Outfit was playing us all like puppets all along. Now that we've got that little hideaway right by Freeside on the highway. A lot of good stuff falling in our lap right now, so swing by if you want to trade. Oh, and if you see a maestro, hit him up for that recipe. We've got a nice supply of meat right now. <laughs> Fucking noise upstairs. Assholes can't stay quiet for a second. I'm going to go see what's going on up there. And then we shot him. Can you imagine if we had accidentally left a couple of gold bars behind and the fiends got their hands on that? My god! Zimmer, I understand you've made considerable progress in your short time in the Mojave. I knew I could count on you. However, I received word that you allowed Zack to escape certain death. You should never hesitate to finish an opponent, particularly one like Zack. I trust in your ability, but I do not make but do not make the same mistake twice. I put you in New Vegas because I trust you, and because you're a cripple. Prove me right. Take care of yourself, attend your duties, and soon enough you'll find yourself in a powerful position. You're like a son to me. A son that, you know, is a miserable failure, and I hate everything about him. Oh, this is a note to Zimmer the Weeb, but we never picked it up because we just killed him and ran. Oh. His dad actually wrote him a big, wind Good long Lord, message. Lord, that's, oh, it's from Kay. Yeah. Oh, great. That's the guy, that's the guy who's the father of Zimmer, and the reason he's sending bounty hunters after us is because we killed his son. Well, not really his son. He was just like a son to him. Hey, oh, is this... No, don't tell me it is. End it. Please tell me that's not Grant. The militia told us it was safe. That someone had cleared out the bad guys around here. We thought the North Road would be a sure thing. They hit us at night, came out of nowhere, grabbed us up like Brahmin calves, and dragged us into this hole. I think they just moved in here. Don't know how long it's been. They cooked Jill. Then they ate her in front of us. Then they fed Danny to the dogs while he was still breathing. God help me end this. The bars are hard enough. If I hit it just right, I can break my skull. Or maybe snap my neck. That would be quick enough. Anything is better than what they did to the others. Most of these animals can't even read. They've been old, burning the old books or using them as shit paper. Fucking barbarians. I guess I don't know that they can't read. I've just only seen them doing that. Maybe they couldn't find firewood. Anyway, if you find this note, my name is Jim Murphy. Tell my son Adam I love him. Tell him I died quickly. I'm ending it. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me never to trust raiders ever again. You, you like how our, uh, our first endeavor with the orphanage failed spectacularly, and we were like, oh, at least our fiend rehabilitation center is still working right. Why, well, it's just everything has been a miserable failure. Oh, man, what about that guy who set up a store? That's the one thing that hasn't backfired oh, yet. Oh, God, I bet that backfired, too. I bet the store suddenly exploded for no reason. Oh, uh, yeah, no body parts hanging outside this building. That's a good sign. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this place is still... It ha it's having difficulty running, but it's not overrun with fiends, so that's good. That is definitely a plus. What is it? We're just happy to see you in one piece, James. See you later.
Bye, don't die. So this investment is still a good investment. That's a relief. Hasn't gone horribly yet. yet. The hell is Matt's place? Oh, apparently this is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> that worked out well. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. <laughs> you talking to a cockroach there? Is that your friend? Oh, that's right. We came here to shake you down for money. I don't have to be polite to you. Nice dick roach, cock. Who the fuck are you? Well then! Looks like he can give it as well as he takes it! <laughs> are you Matt Graves? No, I'm Ghoulie fucking McSpoolies. What the <laughs> fuck do you fucking want, smooth skin? As it so happened, Ghoulie McSpoolies also owes the cons a lot of money. He does! We're In here fact, to... he owes more money! Yeah, we're here to collect, and then some. Are you fucking kidding me? No. I don't know those leather-clad dildos a goddamn thing. <laughs> I ordered Jet. A bunch of fucking Jet. You know why? Because you like Jet? Because I want to get fucking high. But I took a hit of this stuff. And then another. Then another. And you know what? I ain't fucking high. You sound pretty high. The cons ripped me off. I'm not paying for a bunch of fake shit. Maybe you were injecting it incorrectly. Yeah, and won't you like overdose with all of that? Are you deaf, you dense fucking bastard? I said it's fake. Give me the money, or I stomp on the rad roach. What? Y you leave grapes alone, you devil. Grapes? The, the, the caps are upstairs under my bed. Here's the key. Take it, take it. J just don't hurt grapes. <laughs> all right, all right, I won't hurt grapes. I'm glad we can reach an amicable agreement. I never said that Billy wouldn't stomp on grapes, though. Stomping No, on grapes! But stopping on grapes is probably beneath him. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you some caps just because I think that's funny. <laughs> well, alright, a couple of Protectrons around here. Oh, he's got a bunch of robots. But robots aren't alive, and that- oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. Who would have sex with a robot voluntarily? Not me! <laughs> I would. We are- <laughs> Well, this has been a lovely place. You do have quite the home. By the way, Jet doesn't work on ghouls. Don't know if you ever figured that out. Wait, what? What the fuck? Is that a fucking joke? No. You're serious. Yeah. I didn't know that. Anything else you want to say before I leave? No? All right, we got our capsule we came here for, and we won't even kill your roach on the way out. We're benevolent like that. Are we? Yes! Everything cool? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here's the caps. Beautiful. I don't give a fuck how things went down with the ghoul, but you did good. Oh, apparently he doesn't mind if we kill his customers. Probably could have just killed him, but... Oh, Robin Graves! Ah, uh, <laughs> Get it? Because his name was Mac Bra Where are people getting cigarettes that are still in good condition? What's going on? Got more jobs for me? This one is a bit simpler, but also a bit more of a challenge. That doesn't make any sense. A couple of runners got stopped on their way back by some idiot in power armor. He knocked one out cold, gutted the other one with a knife. That's not friendly. Thankfully, this guy is a fucking moron. Before he attacked them, he told them his name and where he lives. Duh! Really? <laughs> really? Alright. His name is Brother Page, and he's shacked up in some old bunker in Crescent Canyon. The door locks, but he dropped his fucking key in the fight. <laughs> wow! He stole our caps, but from what I hear, he lost those pretty quickly. No, this is for our sister that he killed. The great cons look after our own. Yeah! So I want you to go into his bunker and kill the little piece of shit. Okay. But don't get yourself killed, you hear me? I'll do my best. Such a sad ending for Whoa! such an insignificant organism. Oh, we got a couple of raiders in the way, but- Wow, by the time I got my grenade launcher ready- Oh, there's more! Oh, oh. <laughs> those aren't raiders. <laughs> they might as well be raiders. Woo! Woo, free gun! <laughs> no take backsies! <laughs> Duh! Being a janitor was more difficult than killing you. We should just let Billy take point. He's a great bodyguard. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get followers to take point, though. They only step in front of you in the middle of combat. 
<laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a gecko. <laughs> what did you think it was? I don't know. All I saw was this weird L running across. The... <laughs> I thought it was a Tetris piece running across the desert. <laughs> I kind of did. Not going to lie. I, I'm seldom down here in Crescent Canyon. I've, yeah, there's I, really no reason to ever come down here. I know it exists, but why even bother venturing? Yep, there really is not a single good reason to come down into Crescent Canyon. Why would a Brotherhood of Steel be down here in the radiation? Unless they were a ghoul Brotherhood of Steel! Ooh, a bunker. Those are always ominous. What do we got? Oh, it's actually a nicely furnished bunker. And uh, we're just gonna turn that off a second. Oh, hang on, it's gonna. Oh, shit. Oh! I thought they were dead. They were just sleeping. You know, this is the second person we've met in 24 hours named Paige. Whoa, what the hell? How, uh. How'd you get in here? D door was unlocked? Uh, not like it matters. Listen, uh, Wastelander. You. You're standing in Brotherhood of Steel property. Are we now? I am Brother Page, the, uh, the Lord Commander of this outpost, uh -huh. and you need to go away. Oh, uh, I don't think we'll be doing that. Why does your Brotherhood bunker look like a shitty porn soundstage? <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> Alright. I, uh, I mean, no, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Asshole. Uh, what's with the ghouls? Who? Those two feisty little, uh, uh, <clears throat> well, Wastelander, uh, since you asked. Yeah. Uh, well. You want to just say fuck you again? They're my apprentices. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. We should be leaving. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> okay. Taking this nuke cola You've got some nice stuff here. Don't mind if we steal it, right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Pages journal, entry one. I'm too lucky. Like, Jesus riding my dick lucky. What? That, what? <laughs> That's never, sacrilegious. Never heard that before. I heard some prospectors chatting about how there was loot at the bottom of the stupid canyon. Well, if they didn't want it snatched up, they should have shut up, right? So I head on down there. Fucking boom! Bunker. How great is that? Well, I went inside and there was some douchebag sleeping. And next to him was a fucking suit of power armor. Like, for real. I figured he must be one of those Brotherhood of Steel guys that the NCR loves to bitch about. Well, I'm a proud NCR boy, so I did my patriotic duty and stuck my knife into his throat while he slept. Shouldn't have been sleeping on the job, bitch. Anyways, this bunker is mine now. Mine. <laughs> I'll call it El Casa of Marty effing Page. I think casa means castle. It very much does not. Anyway, I think I'll sell the power armor. Maybe buy some amenities for my party castle? Huh? <laughs> I know I'll definitely spend a couple hundred on some ghoul girls to bounce on my boy. Why would you need to when you already have Jesus there? I can't believe how much cheaper ghoul snatch is. Like it's cheaper and better in just every way. Things just couldn't be better. Oh uh, yeah, it's the snatch that follows you home. Oh man, I'm a freaking genius! I was on my way to <laughs> Look sell- Look how he spelled genius! <laughs> I was on my way to sell this power armor, right? Well, it's just a pain in my dick to haul around, so I just popped it on. Much easier, right? I only had to fuck around with it for maybe five minutes before it opened wide for me. Like, just like all the ghoulies legs do when I, I tell them about my mouth magic. I can't believe some people think they need fucking training to wear this shit. What a bunch of retards, right? Anyway, I was halfway to the 188 when I got an idea. I'm pretty badass, and now I got badass power armor. Wow, it does go on for quite some time. He loves his life. Entry three. <laughs> I'm writing this with a cool bitch touching my dick. <laughs> okay, cool. Fuck Big Daddy. Fuck the Great Khan. Brotherhood pages. You're God. Nobody can put a shotgun in my mouth and kill me. Hang up. Ah, uh, back ahead works too. Watch out. Right in the occipitals! Wow. Ugh. Gross, right? 500 bottle caps. Less ghoul than I thought. Not so tough without your power armor, are ya? Uh, <laughs> Great. Hello. What the hell? You're not that fake brotherhood retard. 
General Mills. I guess it doesn't matter. Order was to kill everyone in the bunker. In my book, you ain't exempt. Whoa, hold on now. See, we're not in the bunker right now. We already left. Yeah, so I already killed Paige. Don't worry about it. Hear that, boys? We got a confessed murderer here. Looks like we get to be heroes for once. Oh my god. Billy Nipples? Nice hat, Billy Nipples. Cryptic holotape. I don't want any- Oh, mysterious key card. I'll probably want that. Patriotic iconography. It's a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, he's, he named his baseball bat. This is what you get for being named after a cereal company! You piece of crap! <laughs> Have fun being dead! Ah, uh, I get it! He's a reference to Kellogg! Ah, uh, <laughs> See you in hell, you piece of shit! <laughs> Tell Satan I said hi, and that I'll get him the 50 bucks I owe him, because I do actually owe him some money. It's coming. I'll get it there eventually. I know he doesn't really care about that. How do you like having a broken nose in addition to being dead? <laughs> <laughs> this is way more satisfying than it should be. <laughs> yeah! Fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> this is what you get! This is what you get! For interrupting me! While I'm supposed to be doing other stuff! As long as you're having fun. Just keep beating your face with a baseball bat! <laughs> your mother won't even recognize you anymore. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! They also, for letting raiders take over the rehabilitation clinic! An orphanage that got turned into a human trafficking organization. This suddenly got a lot more personal. What is that, an Operation Iraqi Freedom Medal on your hat? You were never there. You didn't even know what it was like, asshole. <laughs> nice hat, dork. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you were a Ford Ranchero. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It sounds like- it sounds like a kickball. Make that noise again! One more for the road. There we go. What's the long and short of that note you picked up? Basically, there's a place near Tumbleweed Ranch with a bunch of shit in it. Ooh, we've been there before, though. Yeah, let's go check it out. I really should call the police, because <laughs> I have no idea if these are human guts or what they are, but... The stomach looked a lot bigger than a human stomach. Yeah, chances are good. We- Oh! We found uh, something? Apparently I discovered- Hey! <laughs> hey! Thanks a lot, subtitles! No, oh, this is gonna be our mysterious bunker now. Anyone's home? Not for long. What was that? Hey, Billy! I found one of your friends! Hello! Hm, never seen you before. Didn't send you an invite, either. Doesn't matter, I suppose. If you're skilled enough to get in here, you're the kind of person I'd like on my clientele list. Oh. Please know the sentry bot and keep it at the back of your mind, just in case you ever have the urge to tell all your friends about this bunker. Whatever, we got one too. You're not special. Now, what can I do for you? I am Mike, and this is Zach. Who are you? I find business is easiest when we keep things on a need-to-know basis. And if I'm not mistaken, all you need to know is that my name is Peterson. You could have just said Peterson then! Come on, I'm curious! Tell me about your life story! Mike's curious, I don't care. And then tell me your opinions on the NCR and Legion. Can I help you with anything else? Why are you so selective about your clientele? If you're at all familiar with the regional power players of the Mojave, you'll have heard of the Van Graaff family. No? They make a habit of murdering anyone else who thinks of selling energy weapons in their territory. Coincidentally, I'd rather they not know I exist. While I do sell standard ballistic firearms here, you'll note that my primary stock is energy weapons. Ugh. Oh. Back to the great cons, then? Continue on with our mission. What's going on? What do you think's going on? You sent me out to do a job. I'm back from that job. What do you think happened? Do you think Paige killed me? In which case, you'd be wrong, <laughs> and also stupid, because I'm standing right here. That'll teach people what happens when you fuck around with the great cons. Yeah, he was kind of a douche. There's one more thing I need done, but you've done good work. Go and take some time for yourself. Get fucked up, get laid, then come on back. I don't do either of those things. I live to work, apparently. This one is heavy, my friend. You better bring your A-game to the table. And a shitload of guns. And probably some extra bodies. We'll just bring Billy. 
But I talked it up, and we've decided that if you pull this off, we'll officially consider you one of us. Dang. Ooh, wow. That's a big promotion. So, here's the deal. You've probably heard some rumblings about someone who calls himself Big Daddy for some reason. No. Stupid fucking name. This motherfucker is out of his mind. Completely psychotic. Mm -hmm. And he has it out for us for some reason. So, there's only one thing to do about it. Go to the world of Rapture? He needs to die. Oh. We know where he's hiding, but there's a complication. He's locked up tighter than Mr. House's toilet. We need a key. You need a key. How do we know how tightly Mr. House's toilet is locked up? But I got a solution. Big dumb shits build himself a gang of raiders, thugs, and bounty hunters. Okay. And the leader of those bounty hunters is hanging around some bar in outer Vegas. I'm willing to bet he has a key on him. Okay. Uh, all right. So you kill him, get the key, and you got a clear shot to big dumb shit. Kill him and all his thugs, and you're officially one of us. Cool. We can do this. Good luck, and don't get yourself killed. Uh, is this him? Whoa, that's him! Or it could just be some hostile jagoff! Oh, you're the hired help, huh? Hope they're paying you a lot, because, uh... Funerals are expensive! Why was he protecting this saloon? Was he afraid we'd come in and shoot up the place? Probably. Which is what we're gonna do. You must have a problem of deficiency! <laughs> Yeah, I'm a prospector! There's land in your damn there lungs! Ah. Such a sad ending for such an insignificant organism. Talking about him, right? You're gonna kill him? Not us, right? I can never tell with you! Ah, hang on. Oh, Root! I waited for you, dick! Are I should've you? just for- oh boy. Oh good, I'll chainsaw battles! You. Chainsaw fight! Ah, oh, he's really tall! Six Semper Tyrannus. Semper Fidelis Tyrannosaurus. Doesn't make sense in this context. Good God! Oh, there's a lot of dead bodies back here. I Now I understand why they were keeping him locked up in the back. His name was Bozo. Did you see that? I, I didn't. He didn't. He did not introduce himself. Wow, I got 72 Magnum shells for that. What was our goal there? We weren't sent to oh, kill the clown. No, we were trying to get a key. Did we get the key? There was a key and then there was a note attached to it. Frank, you're only getting this note because we were brothers once. Out of that respect, I want you to turn yourself in. I promise you, I'll pull strings to make sure you don't hang, and no harm will come to your family. If you ignore this, and go on with your raping and pillaging, then I have no recourse but to put you down like a dog in the street. Bob Early, NCR Rangers. You better listen to me. If you don't, I'll send in the clowns. Mm. Ah, Ford Cavern. What do we got? Uh, uh, yeah. You like that? What are legionaries doing in here? You want to engage me in combat? That's a funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Why was there a veteran decanus trying to get in? Was he so desperate to die that he came here? An excellent decision. I will make your death long and excruciating. Got him. Vibroblade. <laughs> <laughs> This could be a fun time if you dull the blade a little bit. Time. <laughs> Jeez! Yes, Billy. I have become death, destroyer of worlds. Why are there so many? Hey, come on, guys. We can be friends. Enjoy the vibrating blade. Marital aids. Come on. Yes? No? Okay. Look at all your blood! Enough. Watch it spill out on the ground as you leak to death! Yes, Billy! Stop uh. failing quests! <laughs> the finger of suspicion! <laughs> that sounds sexual. Everything. That sounds like a marital aid! Someone call a janitor. There's a corpse that needs to be mopped off the floor. Didn't they replace your arm with a mop at one point, Billy? That's You are department. technically a janitor. So apparently I was aiding Caesar's enemies, but also Caesar is helping these people? I was not aware that Caesar had teamed up with a bunch of thugs. You were better off drinking bleach than fighting me. <laughs> and there's the boss! Hold on, let's make this personal. Yes, the Vibroblade! <laughs> Doesn't have to be that personal! Hey! 
Ding dong, Big Daddy's dead. He's really dead. He's super dead. Ding dong, Big Daddy is really dead. I'm gonna shove this fibro blade right up his butt. Right up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Yeah, that's right. Feel the texture, baby. <laughs> How's it feel? How's it feel to be a dork? <laughs> but it sucks. Dear Diary, today Zach found a new way to abuse corpses. Woohoo! I hate corpses! It seems these ones are eager to die. Oops. So, uh, what do you say we head on back and, uh... Wasn't there a note on... Oh, you're right, there was a note. Also another submachine gun. I'll take that, thank you. Upon consideration, the Venerable Kaisar has decided it would behoove the Legion to integrate such a proud and fierce warband. There are multiple rough pen marks here. Extremely close examination suggests the line, Mighty Kaisar has, was subject to the crude attempt at erasure. The entire Legion, from the Mighty Kaisar to the lowest capture, has heard many a tale of your conquests. However, while your petition to join the Legion does us a great honor, any who seek to join the Legion must perform a task to prove their worth. In the case of the Big Daddies, that's you guys, the task is simple. One of our raiding parties will be in your area very soon. You will host them as guests from your base of operations, and when the time comes, you will bolster their numbers as they sack the profligate camp of Bitter Springs. Ah. Upon the destruction of the camp and the profligates there, you will be welcomed in addition. You'll, you'll be welcome to the Legion. Frumentarius Stones Thunder. And then uh, the next line is written in a significantly more rushed hand, as if a very last-minute edition. Also, Mighty Kaiser has personally agreed to your request to decimate the Great Khan's deal. Slaughter to a man before the battle. If you were dead, well, yeah, whatever. I'm not even sure how to address you anymore, Frederick. Nobody had ever called you Big Daddy when we ran together, which brings me to my main point. I'm afraid joining your gang is out of the question. I have no doubt you're doing well with it, as anything less would be a significant change of character for you. However, I've occupied myself with other things, and the raiding lifestyle doesn't suit me anymore. I already have calves. A steady stream, in fact. So no, I will not be joining. In regards to your idea of joining the Legion, I'm struck by the notion that you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> you really expect that they'll name you a 71-year-old man, Legget Big Daddy. <laughs> Maybe they'll call you Daddy Long Legget. Okay, nice backstory, dick. You're dead. Who cares? Nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, one of the ranger stations is right over the ridge. They didn't even know the Legion had snuck in. It's because the Legion's so sneaky. LOL, no they're not. <laughs> Hey man, what's up? We have foisted the plan to attack the Great Khans! Big Daddy's dead and gone, buddy. Fucking outstanding. You're welcome. Well, he's done. From now on, you're one of us. Wherever you go, know that your brothers and sisters in the Great Khans have your back. Yeah? Don't worry about the traditional beatdown. Far as I'm concerned, you already went through a beatdown killing Big Daddy. That's true, I did get shot a lot. Here's your very own cut. Wear it with pride. Now, these are some great leathers, Rivas, but we don't want to get shot by the NCR for wearing your equipment, so you can keep them. After you find them! <laughs> <laughs> Go fetch! I probably should have saved before I shot them far, far away. Nope, they're gone forever. 300 episodes from now, we're gonna find them while we're walking <laughs> around. <laughs> Why did you replace me with a newer model? You said I was the only appliance for you! 